There are many different programs out there that you can use many different types of analysis techniques on your images, but I'm just going to go over some very basic ones in Photoshop, which include measuring and counting aspects of your images. The first thing to do is to set your image to scale so you can set accurate measurements. In my file name, I save the lens and magnification information. So I, I use the 100 millimeter at a one-to-one -one magnification. Up in analysis, set measurement scale, and then find 100 millimeter one-to-one. -one. So here it is, select, and now the image is set to scale but we can apply accurate measurements without having pixel information. Now up in analysis yet again, we can select the ruler tool. And then make sure that use measurement scale is selected so it doesn't use any kind of weird selection information rather than millimeter. Here I'm measuring um, this leg segment and what I did was I just clicked held down until I had the desired length and up here under L1 is the measurement of that leg segment. And here it's in millimeters. And just to give a reference, I'm just going to place a scale marker. I'm going to do half a centimeter. And this is just to give an idea of what scale we're working with. Back to the ruler tool, I had it at 2.8. And seeing as this is 5 millimeters, that seems about right, um, 2.8 millimeters for that leg segment. Now we can go up to analysis and record measurements. And down in the bottom, it will record the measurement and the associated information that comes along with that measurement. So including the date and time you did this, file name, what kind of tool you're using, in this case the ruler tool, um, scale, and the scale units which are in millimeters, and here's the length which is 2.8 and the angle that it was measured. So it wasn't measured at a perfect parallel length, it was at a slight angle, and we can clear and measure something else, and go back to record measurements and record that measurement as well. Another tool we can use is the count tool. Um, and this is for if you want to count something and you don't want to keep track of it in your head, this is a good tool to use. So I'm just going to count the number of segments in this leg. So there we go. And we can go and save this count group. So I'm going to go to rename and save it as leg segments one and click OK. And so now we have that saved and we can clear uh, this count group and start another count group. So you can up here create a new count group. And I'm going to do leg segments two, and I have it saved. You can go up to record measurements, and it will record that information that you want, the, the count. These tools, either together or separately, can be really versatile.